Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey everybody, this is Matt from Golf Karting TV here with Waylon and John from Arkham EV and we're at the golf karting dirt drags. They've got these sweet carts we're going to take a look at. Waylon, why don't you start with this one? Uh, does it have a name or something or is it just... Yeah, the... it's kind of uh, unofficially called the Street Rat. All right, uh, very. Built... tell me a little bit about this cart. This is a 97 Club Car DS, um, completely rebuilt. It was a cart I bought from a friend that was destined for the trash heap. Uh, but I saved it and decided to throw in a few of uh, the ideas I've had in mind over the past couple of years. And uh, this is the result of all that. So tell me a little bit about this front end. The front end is kind of a hybrid wishbone ladder bar suicide front end, like you'd see on old uh, 32 Fords hot rods. Uh, specially made just for this DS chassis. It's very simple bolt-on pretty much. And that's the original body? Yeah, original body, just been cut and trimmed up for a little bit more aggressive look and to tuck up those uh, hot rod headlights. Which are very cool. Yep, the, the body uh, paint is a uh, rattle can with uh, Sharpie. <laughs> That's very <laughs> the Sharpie expertise. Yeah. Awesome. You couldn't tell. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, tell me about this skull. Skull, uh, my wife 3D printed that and we've added it to this rod. This basically activates our cooling fan on the back motor in the back. Obviously, you need a little extra, extra cooling because of what you got under the yeah, hood. Yep, it runs hot. So what do you got under here? We have a 72 volt bolt, 105 amp hour lithium battery, a Curtis controller, and it's a custom uh, Cepex motor we designed. Awesome. And I'm seeing seat belts and mirrors and stuff like that, so this is street legal? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much street legal. It's got turn signals, horns, uh, lights, all that, brake lights, safety features. And what do we got back here? In the back we have an ABS wing with uh, turn signals, brake lights, reverse lights, all made into the back part of this wing here. Very cool. Everything else, I mean, it's pretty simple, so there's not too much to go over. The rest of it's just the original 97. Uh, DS there. Yeah, John, you want to tell me about the wheels and tires we got on here? Uh, the wheels and tires we have on the back are 245 60 14 BF Goodrich. Um, those hook pretty well in about any surface we put them on so far. On the front, we got the 225 40 14s that are just a standard golf cart tire, but they are DOT tires. Uh, we like to run the DOT, they just get a little bit more grip and uh, better speed ratings on them for safety. Got it. Awesome. And we got its sister, brother, whatever yeah, over this here. this is the cousin, the little cousin. dirty cousin. All right. yeah, we call this one Pocket Change. This is my personal car I built for my wife and my kids. Awesome. Um, it's built pretty much out of all flood vehicle parts. Uh, we like to build, not buy. Um, it did have a broken frame on the back. We repaired all that. Uh, we got the Star Lithium in this one with a Plum Quick Executioner motor. And the base uh, and is the a DS? Controller. Yes, this is a 94 DS. We love the club car DSs. That's our favorite car to use. Okay. But we got the big Curtis controller in there and a, that nice star lithium battery. Yeah. So it all works out pretty well. Nice. This one here is street legal. We got the nice little rosin steering wheel here. And, uh, Love that. These in-house speedometers we make at Arkham EV. We sell these kits right here online for about $180 with everything you need to make your car speedometer work. Very worthy. cool. But other and than that, we got a little bit of stereo system on here. A little here kicker. And, yeah, I love my kicker stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we and got the kicker all the way around on it. Sounds pretty good. This one's also street legal, yes? This one is street legal, absolutely. And it's got the seat kit and everything for the back of the windshield. We just take it off for lightweight purposes for here. Awesome. Awesome, that is awesome. It, man. They're, uh, these cars are solid and ready to go. Very cool.